Good evening, everyone. A family is still in mourning tonight on the one year anniversary of the tragic shooting of a six year old boy. Moorhead police responded to the 400 block of Sunrise Circle last March, where officers say four young children were left home alone, found a gun and shot six year old Marcellus. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley caught up with the family today who say they're continuing to keep his memory alive and fighting for justice. It's a story you'll only see here on Valley News Live. For Renee Williams, March 21st, 2021 seems like it was just yesterday. It just hurt losing, losing him because that's just like losing one of my children. You know, you love your kids, but when the grandbabies come, you love them even more. Six year old Marcellus and his two siblings were visiting their mom, Demetria Smith, last spring when Williams says Smith dropped the kids off at this Moorhead apartment complex and left to go to the mall and drinks with a friend. And it's a sad situation because it was a child. 34 year old Philip Neal Jones Jr. has since been charged federally in connection to the shooting. As officials say, it was his gun that the children found under a chip box and fired that deadly round. And as a convicted felon, Jones Jr. was prohibited from possessing a firearm. Because they wanted that guy so bad, they um, said that they wouldn't charge her. And Williams says, as tragic as it is, she doesn't think Jones Jr. should have ever been charged, saying he was out of town when the shooting happened and didn't know the four kids were going to be in his home unsupervised. Instead, Williams says she's still fighting for Marcellus's mom to face charges and won't stop until prosecutors listen. I still want justice for Sally. Along with Marcellus's nine year old brother and seven year old sister, a memorial for Marcellus now lives in Williams, Georgia home, where every day the family tells that goofy and spunky six year old, I love you. Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. This video was shared with us just a few minutes ago as Williams says she and several of her family members and neighbors gathered this afternoon to release balloons in Marcellus's favorite color in honor of the one year anniversary of his passing. Jones Jr. has since pleaded guilty in the case. He's set to be sentenced later this year and is expected to spend between the next three to five years in prison.